go back. So I thought I would show how the D races look as well, just quickly. Also because I realized I didn't have enough money for the high heat race. I will show off my Lamborghini Diablo. Basically, off screen I've been doing a lot of like getting all the collectibles and stuff and like who would have thought that this game is so unbalanced that the better way almost to get money quickly is to just attempt a load of activities and get loads of collectibles because it gives you small amounts but you're not having to spend any amount of time really getting them. You just drive up to them, do them, press a button or like do the activity and each attempt for speed traps give you more stuff so that give you more money each attempt even if it's like a mild fail like you know one or two star anyway like yeah I'm just doing this quickly uh, look at the car look at it <laughs> it's pretty good fun to drive for some reason this Lamborghini is got like really good stats and is like 400 plus performance rating straight away and <laughs> and uh, I have other Lamborghinis in my garage that are newer that have worse performance ratings and drive worse so I have no idea the balance of this game is so jacked because I have classic Ferraris from a similar kind of time period that also drive worse so this is a really good car, it's got good top speed, it can get to the top speed quickly. It's pretty responsive, it's quick to get around corners, and it's not the most expensive supercar in the game. And it's got some customization options, some of which you're looking at now. They're quite nice. Um, yeah, definitely worth, uh, if, you have to, if you feel like you have to get a supercar, to beat some challenges or something. This is a pretty good one to carry you for the rest of the game. Much better than the Murcielago, which is a shame because I like the Murcielago. And uh, uh, the game does not treat it well. It's usable, but it's not like the fastest car in the game. Let's do Flying Judgment again. I, was, I can do a Mr. Krabs impression if it makes you feel better, but I'm not going to. Also, uh, <laughs> there's a uh, number plate. I could not think of any good thing to write for the number plate because, like, I was thinking about this. Like, I used to know a bunch of car guys, and there's something about being a car guy and not having a very good sense of humor. Like, car and motorbike related humor is very limited, and actually, like, if you find it legitimately funny, you might be a nerd. Like, I knew a guy who was always trying to make car guy jokes, but it was just like... God, no one finds this funny. You're just trying to make humor to show that you know a lot about cars. Like, you'd be like, oh yeah, like, the, this was ahead of its time because the headlights used to turn before the corner. <laughs> ahead of its time, get it? And you're just like, that's not funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like or making jokes that something's a lemon car or something, and you're just like, oh, like, there's just, there's no humor there, so... I thought, haha, I could call it John Lambo, and I actually wanted to, like, stab myself because it was such poor humor. There's just there's very little humor in this car. <laughs> look, look how fast it go, though. It go 234. Big speed. Such wow. Hit car. Woot. Hit other car. <laughs> Woot. You too can purchase this game and engage in a 200 mile an hour car crash and there'd be virtually no recompense for it. Just like real life. <laughs> so this car's a little skittish, but it's not too bad. I've got other cars that like you suddenly hit the brakes and try and turn and they fishtail like crazy. This has enough that it will kind of stay pretty stable. And I like the design of this era of Lamborghini. It's got a nice kind of style to it. It's 
Got a little bit of like movement there. You can drift around that corner. You, but it's not too drifty that you're sliding all over. It's just a little bit of drift and it's not too much that you slow down to a crawl, uh, you know, and it's kind of like cuts in pretty well. You don't have to drift if you don't want to. You can just take it properly. It gives you a lot of flex, whereas some cars, they really just want you to do one thing or another. I will record some of these other cars later. Um, found him again. Get him. Get him. <laughs> uh, I was going to talk about uh, collectibles. You collect some things in this game. And you would think, oh, the unlocks, they're pretty good at first glance. And then you realize this is all like super late or post game that you'd be doing this if you were a normal human. And in fact, you can't do a lot of these things with the base car. So yeah, and they just unlock you special editions of cars you can already buy. So like the, the uh, Nissan GTR and 370Z Nismo versions and like the BMW GTS and the M5 GTS and like the Ferrari 488 Pista. I can't remember the numbers anymore. I'm not good with Ferrari numbers, sorry. <laughs> but um, in a game all about car modification and when the game literally tells itself, this car has the same engine as the other car that is the base model all you're getting is a different visual look you can't change because it's a special edition and exactly the same performance statistics from what I can gather and when it's late game you're getting cars that are very mid in the game's balance and you don't get them you get the opportunity to buy them so you do all that work you spend all that time and unlike burnout paradise it doesn't just give you the car it goes fuck you go buy it this is really frustrating because it feels like that was just another feature that ea some e finger snapping exec probably went no 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 don't give them free shit for their time no give them the opportunity to buy it because then we can get some more microtransactions out of them when they're frustrated. Don't think about that. Like, don't give them free shit. No, give them the opportunity to spend another million bank or a couple of hours grinding for that. Or paying real money. And it's just like, ugh. Because then I conveniently earn enough money anyway doing other stuff. And I think, ah, I'll buy the Nismo 370Z. And I like the 370Z. I think it's a cool design. It's wallowy, it's slow, and like I'm driving these kind of cars right now, and like high end, like high performance muscle cars, and it is slow, so slow, and it doesn't know what it wants to be. You can make it be a drift car, you can make it be a grip car, but it's mediocre at everything it does. And I'm like, so I unlock the opportunity to purchase a low mid car that I will never use except for a video. That's such a shame. I'm so pissed because I love this car and they've not done it justice. What the f- Why was it just- Oh yeah, I'll just park my ambulance in the middle of the fucking road at night. And look at this nerd. They're all after me today. I win. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame because then I'm 100%ing this game slowly and unlocking everything just for content because uh, also I just kind of enjoy cruising around and the unlocks just suck. <laughs> like, they're, they're cars I wouldn't normally buy at this stage in the game and you're like, okay, cool, you gave me a car I won't use and the opportunity to buy a car I won't use. If it was free, that would take the sting off of it, but no. I'll slide around this speed trap just like this. Speed traps in this game, way easier to get through than say the speed traps that most wanted, the original most wanted. 
those speed traps on those wanted used to be the full or much wider and be a full like roadblock as well. Now they put like one lane of traffic is speed trap and then a couple of cones, but you can't see it very well. So you can just kind of slide and hopefully there's like a one in four chance that you won't hit the speed trap. So, and they reinflate much. What the hell was that? <laughs> this game, man. Your car was too low, so it jumped into the ground for a bit. So let's go do a high heat race. Yeah, just gotta unlock all of these parts and then see if that's gonna do anything. I recently was like looking through the trophies for this game. Yeah. <laughs> I was recent, I didn't see him over the crest there. Uh, I was recently looking at the trophies uh, for this game and found that there's underneath all the other story mode trophies, there's a hidden trophy that I haven't unlocked yet. And I was like, huh, strange, considering my previous comments about how the story mode cut short really quickly. Because I encountered a bug before where the game's story just kind of wouldn't let me progress. Like, there was a marker on my map and I couldn't make it go. It was just like, nah, man, you can't progress. Sucks to be you. And you were like, and then like, I kind of reloaded my save a few times and it was fine. So I was a little confused. And now I'm wondering, maybe the game, the next part of the game, I haven't triggered something and it's not finish the story mode but like it would be nice if it gave me some signposts on what i was supposed to do or if it's just bugged the hell out again so fun we will find out later i'm sure if i'm going to try and unlock most stuff i've been trying to do the black market challenges too but they're just really unfun maybe that's what it is though If I unlock all of the parts, maybe that'll do something. Maybe if I do all of the uh, collectible stuff, activities and things. So I said before, to get this, you really need to just place 4-4 four, four higher, I think. It, at least, just to be safe, I normally try and podium. And then you get the part. But like, um, the key thing is to not take too much damage in these night sections as well, because then you just get really in trouble. Ugh. I meant to do that. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this car's pretty good fun. Pretty good fun, though. Pretty good fun to drive. And as you can see, for some reason it's much faster than cars that came out 30 years later than this car. <laughs> I can't work out why. What's ahead of me and what's behind me? That's... What is that, a McLaren? Porsche? It's too far away, my eyes are too bad. I unlocked a lot of cars recently doing a lot of stuff in the game. That's a Porsche. And uh, that means I have a lot of cars to show off now, so I'm going to slowly filter those out now that I have more free time to actually put stuff on my YouTube. So, yeah, we'll see that. Pretty good acceleration on this car. I like it. I can't really express the way I like it. It's just very tight. It just does everything you want it to do. And I can't say it's the most memorable car, though. It's fun. But, like, I can't say it's like, oh, you're going to be blown away by the noise it makes and the sh sheer acceleration. It's just, it does everything good. But you can hear the engine tone. It's a bit like, mm, it's just a bit low level. It's not excitingly sounding. Pretty cool, though. Would recommend. Got two guys ahead of me. Just got a... Oh, I think that was a McLaren. 
Are they both McLarens? That's weird. I will just spam NOS. Ooh. Oh, I just clipped through that guy. I was going so fast it didn't register his hitbox. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, let's just go with it. This game is buggy. Where am I? Okay, it's quite nearby. I'm gonna deliberately not have any high stakes race chase thing here and just lame it out. Oh, he's just gonna sit there. You see him on my map, he's just sat in the garage. In the petrol station. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, so I'm just trying to read the cluttered map here. Yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. So here we go. And I'll show what part I unlocked. Uh, no, not here. Okay, here. I saw the icon, but... Yay, number go up. Meaningless number go up, everyone. Yay. I'm still capped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did I get? Got a few new parts for you. Wish I could sneak you some more. Oh, good. That's the kind of shit that it's the thing I need. Now they're almost all red. Yay.